Today, improvements in resin chemistry technology, optimization of material properties, and the development of innovative techniques for placement have made composite resin more user-friendly and reliable. Until recently, the flowables were clinically indicated and acceptable as filling materials in low-stress applications such as cavity liners, sealants, preventative resin restorations, small class 1 restorations, class 2 substructure, small class 3 restorations, and class 5 restorations. And what other material has so many uses than these next generation flowables? The following presentation will describe a few of those many contemporary applications utilizing Genial Universal Flow. For anterior and posterior composite restorations. By utilizing precise restorative placement techniques and conservative adhesive preparation designs and a more thorough adhesive protocol, these advanced formulations such as Genial Universal Flow can be utilized for Class 1, Class 2, Class 3, Class 4, and Class 5 restorations, diastema closures, and direct veneers. Studies indicate that incremental layering techniques with these materials can be effective in reducing the effect of contraction stress and improving marginal sealing. And these materials can be used independently or in combination with conventional hybrid composite materials. For composite mock-ups, The composite mock-up is an excellent tool for increasing the patient's understanding and education of the clinical procedure through a visual prototype. This composite prototype allows the patient and the restorative team to establish parameters for lip profile, incisal edge position and length, and orientation to the gingiva, and to simulate the final result. This process can be performed intraorally without anesthesia and can provide valuable information for proper lip position and phonetic considerations. A clear vinyl polysiloxane impression can be used to replicate the diagnostic wax up. The matrix can be placed intraorally and used as a transfer vehicle for the flowable composite to be injected. As sealant and preventative resin restorations. Next generation flowables can be utilized as composite surface sealants, pit and fissure sealants, and preventative resin restorations. These highly filled nanomaterial formulations can be cured in a thin film and have the potential to increase the wear resistance of posterior composite resin restorations. Since the inner particle spacing is reduced and the filler particle density is increased and thus can provide more reinforcement and protection of the resin matrix. These materials can be utilized to fabricate, modify, or repair provisionals. Composite provisionals can be efficiently fabricated by making an initial impression with a clear vinyl polysiloxane impression material, such as Memesil 2, of the preoperative stone or diagnostic wax-up model. Also, long-term provisionals can be utilized for the shaping and development of gingival contour for edentulous regions and for the manipulation and shaping of interproximal papillae during prosthetic implant therapy. For composite tooth splinting. Composite tooth splinting has widespread use in dentistry for stabilization and immobilization of teeth for orthodontics, periodontics, oral surgery, pedodontics, and general dentistry. It provides tooth fixation through application of a light cured flowable or chemically cured composite material to acid etched enamel surfaces in combination with flexible stainless steel wire, orthodontic brackets, or fiber reinforced ribbon. To enhance internal adaptation, These next generation flowable composites, such as Genial Universal Flow, are 69% by weight with an average particle size of 200 nanometers. The low modulus composite acts as an elastic buffer that compensates polymerization shrinkage stress by flow, eliminating mastication discomfort and theoretically eliminating cuspal deformation or gap formations 
and reduced microleakage. Also, the flow of materials may enhance the wetting capacity of the restoration, resulting in a more complete interfacial internal adaptation, reducing void formations, which can contribute to a weakened surface and microleakage. These next generation materials can also be used for transitional interoral repair of fractured ceramic restorations. Application of flowable composite resins for the interoral repair of ceramic restorations can increase the longevity and improve the aesthetics of fractured restorations and offer the patient and dentist a cost-effective alternative to replacement. Flowables can be used to stabilize, secure, and seal the dental dam clamp prior to procedure. Endodontic and adhesive procedures require proper isolation and these flowable materials can be used to stabilize, secure, and seal the working field. Creating a vertical stop for interoclosal records. Flowable composite resin can be used as an accurate interoclosal record for the orientation of models for fixed prosthetic restoration. To resurface or repair composite restorations. Repeated flexural forces can also cause adhesive failure of adhesive restorations at the dentin resin interface, which can result in microleakage and partial or complete debonding of the restoration. A simple indirect direct technique can be used to restore anatomical morphology from wear or fracture using these next generation flowable materials. Sealing endodontic access openings. An inadequate coronal seal after endodontic therapy can allow slava to reach the apical region of the tooth in as little time as three days. One material and method that can be utilized for sealing the endodontic access opening is a simple technique that involves self-etch adhesives such as Genial Bond and a next generation flowable. This bioadhesive procedure can restore or provide a transitional seal until a new restoration can be placed. Repairing Denture Teeth Generally, fractures to denture teeth occur as emergency situations and require replacement. Replacement can be achieved with relative ease in the laboratory with an adequate inventory of denture teeth. However, with a proper surface treatment, these fractures can be repaired with next generation flowable composite resins such as Genial Universal Flow at Chairside. Eliminating Cervical Tooth Sensitivity One effective treatment strategy for eliminating cervical tooth sensitivity is to occlude the distal terminal ends of the exposed dentinal tubules. Adhesive resin impregnation is a clinical technique that has increased in popularity in recent years and is currently considered one of the most definitive and rapidly acting methods of desensitization. This procedure reduces sensitivity with application of a dentin adhesive and flowable composite to form a hybrid layer and this resin barrier prevents continued diffusion of toxins and bacterial invasion toward the pulp while producing minimal adverse pulpal inflammation. Although this biomaterial, Genial Universal Flow, has so many potential uses, the selection of the proper material for any particular clinical situation requires many consideration factors, including the biologic, physical, and mechanical properties of the material, the placement technique, cavity configuration, anticipated margin placement, curing light intensity, tooth anatomy and position, occlusion, patient's oral habits, and ability to isolate the operative field. All of these factors have the potential to influence the clinical behavior and material performance, and each should be considered prior to restorative treatment. In view of all of these considerations, it is understandable that clinicians have uncertainties about selection of biomaterials and techniques to optimize the material's properties and achieve predictable long-term results. To improve this selection process, the restorative dentist must have a working knowledge of these consideration factors 
and integrate this knowledge with the proper technique for each clinical situation.